Bob Dobbs and David Newfeld are here, loves. We are yammering. Yeah, that's what happens. Hi, caller one. Welcome. Yeah, well, uh, I was just kind of tripping out because uh, uh, one of your guests is named Bob Dobbs, and that's actually the name I normally use when I donate to KPFK. <laughs> so, that kind of tripped me out. I, uh, I, bought, uh, I bought the Alan Watts CD collection from... Uh, uh, the evening show under the name Bob Dobbs, and, and my slogan was "Slack off." And I don't know is that is that the same Bob Dobbs that is on the phone right now from the, the Church of the Subgenius, or is it a different Bob Dobbs? <laughs> oh my God! The one who inspired the church. I inspired the Church of Subgenius. Wow, this is an amazing moment for me because it was just <laughs> sort of like a tongue-in-cheek prank that. Yeah, I don't even know why I was using the name Bob Dobbs. It just kind of came to me. <laughs> And, uh, and here you are on the phone. It's fucking, oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, Bleep. it's pretty wild, man. Now, that. Do, now do, you, do you see, Evan, it's a good example of self-relation and self-difference. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're picking it's up that. It's a metaphor, that's... right? This is a metaphor yeah. for me trying to tactically uh, discover myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, every day I get Facebook requests from Bob Dobbs all over the universe asking me to be my friend. You go on there, go on my Facebook and look at my friends, about 500 of them are Bob Dobbs. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> like Agent Smith in the, in the Matrix just proliferating all over the place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that is really that is that is really incredible. And so do you have a pipe and everything? Yeah, you know, I I've got I've got a couple of tobacco pipes and I don't look <laughs> Anything like uh, Stephen Colbert at all. But, uh, <laughs> I've taken lots of psychedelics, and, uh, so I've got that those credentials built up. And uh, yeah. Well, that you know what? Look, and you just happen to be listening late tonight, right now, and boom! That's that's pretty brilliant. That's great. It, that is, yeah. Remaining time, but the chip body is. Yeah. TV body. The chemical body is not going to have a social space that be registered on the screen of TV or the chip scanning. That's what you know. Gil Scott Heron meant when he said the revolution will not be televised. It's not that the poor people will have a revolution. The poor people are engaging in anarchy. Yes. On uh, just, and they wouldn't even call it anarchy. And so we can't look for any order to come out of it, like your previous guest was uh, was trying to look for. Right. There's nothing to hope for from the chemical body. The actual the chemical body is free now to do whatever it wants in any field, in any uh, level of expression. Yes. And the chip body will scan you and report you and record you, but that's your chip body, isn't it? What Dave was mentioning, you guys talk about this. Uh, this phone number thing that pops up that has nothing to do with your chemical body yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. and uh, there's uh, the more we uh, less rely the more we less rely on our mind and pattern recognition as some certainty in gendering uh, the better you're going to be with human beings don't need your mind. Now, you do need to know how to express yourself in different media, like speech, and provide content for the Android meme, but as for the most intimate part of yourself, the mind does not have to be useful anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, okay. Does that relate also, Bob, to what you've learned in the last couple of years associating with ION? Oh, yes. I, I is a great boosting of uh, never mind. That's the all purpose answer for ION. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's funny because I am like a star. I remember years ago, I, I, I um, talked to this guy, um, and he knew the, the guy who sings for Oasis, Liam, and he knew him very early. He said, he said, I knew even then, this guy's got star material. Why? Because he honestly does not give a damn what other people think of him. He just... He really does. <laughs> that's part of his success. He's not going to let anyone distract him from believing that. Yes. Yeah, and that's ionic. That's what ion tells you. Mm. Yes. The post information society means there's nothing to be sent to you, and you have nobody to send it to. So you're on your own in the most profound way, and so relax about it and uh, call it what you want. <laughs> what? Two million years old. The psychological term. Come on, you let it try. Religious meditation. Sit down. 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 Sit down.